Hey, it's Michael Colomb. It's August 24th, 2023. It is a Thursday night. Uh, another long day filming, but glad to be done. Uh, glad that contracts are getting approved by SAG, so there at least is a little bit of work out there. That makes me happy. Um, there needs to be more. There just isn't a lot right now, and it's very, very frustrating and sad. Um, but I'm home now. I am... Um, I'm about to submit a couple more photos of my friend Kevin. We did some really awesome black and white photos, and I want to get those submitted to some magazines. So I'm going to do that today. Um, and then our our piece for Mo... Oh, I'm so... I don't know how to say this. Moavir magazine from Pear should come out, I think, either tomorrow or Saturday. And then I'm expecting two more magazines with my friend Jake, who's on the cover of Dappy. And then um, Noah, that's going to be... We didn't get the cover, but we're going to be in the magazine. For, it's called Gamaro. Gamaro? I'm terrible with these. I, I love these magazines, but sometimes I, I might I feel like I pronounce them wrong. So I apologize. Um, but then I got to go down to Orange County tomorrow because um, I have to go visit my family member. They have their court date tomorrow. So then, yeah, it's just crazy. I feel like... I feel like I've been up at 5 o'clock every morning this week, just, like, dealing with stuff. Uh, and it's been hot. Like, it's crazy to think that, like, three days ago we were, like, raining and, and had a hurricane. And now it's been, like, so miserably hot. Not, like, not like in the... It's not been... It hasn't been triple digits. It's only been, like, 90. But um, sometimes on set it's hard, like, because you have to turn the air off and you just sit in a house that get, get really, really hot because you have lights and stuff. So that sucks. Sometimes that, that can take a lot out of you. But again, I'm grateful for work. So I'm home now. Just chill, accent. Got some TV on. Going to go to bed soon because, like I said, I got to get up early. But um, yeah, I haven't been sleeping well because of the anxiety of not knowing a lot about work and figuring those things out. And it's just maddening to me. And the first thing that goes to my mind is like I'm just trying to figure out why why they have to strike you know another script another script supervisor posted on this um script revising board on facebook today and he said that he sent a message to the amt mp saying how like we that you know we have to strike that writing is you know where they they made money while streaming from shows that were written by writers so writers need to get paid but the thing is is he was like saying can you justify why people like Bob Iger made so much money when you can't even sit there and pay the writers? And you know, Bob Iger made like what? 52 million? I, that's probably a low number. 52 million dollars, if not more. Like he probably made so much more. I could look that up. I'm just being, but like, that's the thing. It's like, they're crying over paying, you know, thousands of dollars, maybe a hundred thousands of dollars to the writers. But then they give these CEOs millions and millions and millions of dollars and then they complain they have no money. And so I, it was just interesting that he was posting this online saying, I emailed this company saying, can you help us understand and justify millions and millions of dollars to the CEOs, but you can't even give just a little bit, just a small minute fraction of that to the people that actually make your content. And that's actually very true when you think about that. It's like, you know, during the pandemic, all we did was stream stuff and these, these streaming services made so much money based on us just sitting at home having to watch content. And so... We were watching so much content, they didn't make more content, they kept making more money, but they weren't paying anybody. They weren't paying the actors who have to, you know, give up their time, and then they can just use your image over and over again. They're not paying the writers who give up their time. I mean, we work long, 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 long hours on film, especially the crew. And it's like, the fact that they can't even just give us the small amount that we're asking for is like beyond insulting. But they are still making money off this content, so like... I hate the strike because I really need to work, but I love the strike because we, this has to, I mean, this is about to happen because you can only take advantage of people for so long before they fight back. So, and, and rightly so. I mean, we should get paid. And it's funny because I was talking to another friend of mine and he, my friend Ryan, who told me to, to launch this vlog. He's like, every time I talk to people about this, people think that everybody in the film industry makes money because you have people like George Clooney and like all these big names that make all this money. But those are like few and far between all these people that make like the rest of us that just work in crew and like work in the writers room and stuff, we don't, we just make, we just make money. Right. And if you think about it, like, um, 
a normal average day on set is 12 hours. 12 hours. Like, we work the same amount of hours as, like, sometimes people in hospital shifts. And sometimes they work more. So we work a minimum of 12 hours. We could work five or six days a week. So, like, we don't make that much money for the amount of hours that we put in. And, you know, it's like sometimes, like, you know, I worked on Yellowstone. I worked on the first season, but I did second unit. And I was gone all the time. I was flying back and forth constantly while I was working on the show. But those people lived on that show for nine months out of the year. Nine months out of 12 years because that's how much the show shot. Which means people are giving up living with their families. Sometimes they have to move their families to these shows because, you know, they're filming, and which is fine. I mean, sometimes people move for work. But can you imagine, like, nine months being on a show for nine months out of the year? And, like, you make good money, but even then you don't see them because sometimes they work nights. Sometimes they work weekends. It's, like, insane. So the fact that people think we make all this money, given the fact that, like, people in, like, a normal job, quote-unquote normal, work, like, what? eight to five i know i did it and you have like an hour lunch but then you have weekends off and maybe you can leave early on friday and you get holidays we don't do that stuff in film but like that but you know you have all this time off and you can go see movies you can watch movies at your house you watch television you watch commercials you know you watch music videos you watch all these things that we make and we spend time away from our family from our friends you know for significant others and stuff and it's like it's just crazy to think that people go well why do they need to make more money? Well, the thing is, is like, we just like to make money to, to survive. You know, that's all we want. So, uh, and it is important because these, these streaming services are screwing us over and it's actually affecting the entertainment because if you think about it, you know, it's like right now, there's not really any of your favorite television shows and those big Marvel movies and all that stuff are not being made at all. And your TV shows aren't being made. And like, I just read an article today that Dune's being pushed back. To like 2024 because actors can't even promote the movie. So like don't think it doesn't affect you. It's affecting you because we watch television and movies every day. And it's affecting it. It's affecting it every day. So, you know, and there's not going to be... There's content that's like slated to come out. You know, because they shot it before the or the, whatever. But, you know, and they schedule movies and stuff out. But there's no really new movies being made. So once those movies are out there, it's like... There's a lot of independent film, which is great, but, you know, doesn't always get distributed in those big theaters. I don't know, maybe it should. That'd be great boom for independent film, but, like, those movies are not getting made. That's what's so crazy. Like, and it's affecting television. Like, I watched, you know, I love watching Cole, Stephen Colbert every night. He's not on. I have a bunch of shows that I love watching that aren't even being made, you know. And I remember, like, when we had the strike the first time, there's a lot of good shows that I love that never got picked up. Once the shark was over, and that's where we got reality television. And who gives a shit about reality television? I mean, it's it's fun in a lot of ways, but it's it's like mind numbing. You could just put it on, and it's sort of like a way to escape the world. But that's what entertainment is for: is to give you a way to escape the world and still be enjoyable, right? So I don't know. We'll see. But it's been I think 115 days now. 115 days that we haven't made any new content. That's three months. Do you know how much content we make in three months for you guys? hours and hours of movies and television and commercials and short stories and music videos and stuff not being made at all 150 days three almost three and a half months of no new content being made yes independent films films take a while to shoot and edit and make and a lot of these streaming services because they're part of the amtp are not streaming these movies so like nothing's getting made it is not getting made so it'll be interesting to see what happens you know it's like Yes, they're trying to they're trying to do it where, you know, we they they're hoping that we run out of money and finally agree. But the thing is is like they're not gonna run out of money for a while because they have so much money, but they're also not gonna make money because eventually all the content's gonna gonna be watched. And yeah, like you can go on, on and, 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 and catch up on old shows, but you know, sometimes there's people like new shows and sometimes people don't watch new episodes and and you know. So there you go. That's just my soapbox review of it. I just wish that they would finally come to an agreement. Because I'd also like to write and direct some more. I have some great ideas that I'd love to share with you. And I'd like to just pay my bills. That's all I want to do is pay my bills. So, you know, I have to pay rent too. And I have, a, you know, bills and credit card payments and stuff. So let's hope that they come to agreement soon. And that everybody, you know, could come out a winner. And then we could go back to making great content for you all. So, but I also have photography, which is kind of nice. So there's always that. All right, well, have a great day. 
it is uh, Friday tomorrow, so let's uh, let's uh, see how we go into the weekend, shall we?